Thank you to the Edwards School of Business, the Conexus Credit Union, the Saskatchewan Chamber of Commerce, and the Paul Hill School of Business for sponsoring the SBTA 2016 Case Competition.
so that together we can strengthen the financial literacy of Canadians. That's why it's so exciting for me to be here today um, with students learning about this important topic. Financial literacy can help you to be the entrepreneurs of tomorrow, to develop financial management skills that you're going to need to advance your businesses and ensure that you're successful. So the lack of financial management skills is one of the main factors that small business of small business failure in Canada. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we see that 85% of small businesses make it through the first year successfully, but the success rate plummets to 50% after five years. And it's not because people lack the capital to keep the business going, it's because they lack the financial literacy skills needed to manage that business. But there are lots of organizations trying to address that and actually uh, nail the numbers. Uh, Tanya is here tonight, I think. Oh, there she is. Uh, they do boot camps for entrepreneurs all across Canada. And of course, there are many organizations like the Chamber of Commerce and JA that help. Across Canada, public, private, and nonprofit sector entities are working to promote financial literacy so that people have the knowledge, the skills, and the confidence to make responsible financial decisions. These initiatives are under the umbrella of a national strategy that I launched last June. It has three goals. The three goals are to help Canadians manage their debt and money wisely, plan and save for your financial future, and protect yourselves against fraud and financial abuse. My job is to raise awareness of the importance of financial education and to let people know about the great resources and the tools that are available, the organizations that can you to deliver financial literacy programs either inside or outside the classroom. So research tells us that you, uh, the sooner you begin in life to learn about financial literacy, understanding money, the better. When good money management and decision making become a habit in the early years, the more likely those habits translate into your adulthood. So early investments in financial literacy can last a lifetime. They also have an impact beyond the school setting. It benefits parents at home who look after their children's homework. They can learn through the financial education homework to manage their own money. So actually you guys can help your parents learn a little bit more about money. Because as much as I'm happy to see financial literacy in the classroom, it also needs to happen in the home. Talking about money isn't easy as I'm sure all of you know, and it's even more difficult for some families. School settings equalize. It's a great equalizer. Everyone can talk about financial literacy in a school setting. Sometimes in the home, that's not so, so easy. But talking about it in school can spark that conversation in the home. Of course, education in Canada is at the provincial jurisdiction, and I'm in the federal government. So I'm so happy to see so many organizations, professional organizations, they complement the school curriculum. I'd like to give a shout out again to uh, Junior Achievement, Darren. You've done an amazing job at helping young people stimulate and inspire them to, uh, to develop entrepreneur, entrepreneurial and leadership skills. Also, the Chamber of Commerce, Connexus, Affinity Credit Union here in Saskatchewan have been involved in various activities, including the creation of a, a financial literacy network that was launched in November. At FCC, uh, I work at the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada. We have a program called The City, and it's uh, geared towards grade 10 students. It's meant to be taught in, uh, in business classes or life transitions would be something like career and life management is another uh, program in Alberta that it's taught in. But it's, it's a way to teach young people uh, through a really fun and interactive environment. It includes components for teachers, so if there are teachers in the room that are looking for supports, um, it has PowerPoint presentations, and it's really the, uh, the, the content is really important. It's about budgeting, reality, lifestyle check. You know, it, if a student says that they have a goal to have a certain lifestyle, do they know what kind of an income they're gonna need in order to achieve that? That, that program exists, but it's one to complement the many, many organizations that have working tools. So I invite you to check out what's called the Canadian Financial Literacy Database. It's on our website. It has more than 1,200 financial literacy resources that are available to anyone interested 
in improving their own financial literacy or helping someone else to. It's a one-stop so one -stop source of information of, for teachers and, and students. It has an easy to use filter approach, so depending on the topic you want to narrow your search down, you want to know about credit cards, you can put in a filter and it'll narrow down the information for you. There are age appropriate resources. It's for adults, but it's also for students. So you'll, you'll find a wealth of information. And what I thought I'd do, uh, there's also a filter actually for entrepreneurs. So if there's an entrepreneurship program, uh, it should be in that database, but also you may be able to find something of value. I wanted to show you a, a short video about the database, just to give you a sense of, of what that's all about, if it works. I got a wife and a kid, lots of student debt. Yeah, I mortgage the house that I haven't paid down yet. The toys and the trips are all super fantastic. If I ain't got the money, I put it on plastic. Don't know what RRSPs is. TFSA is a mystery. Don't let your finances surprise you. Browse hundreds of resources and events in the Canadian Financial Literacy Database to start managing your finances today. It pays to know. A message from the Government of Canada. So the Canadian Financial Literacy Database is such an amazing resource reflecting all the great work that is happening across Canada. It's a sign that we're making progress, but we do have more work to be done. And I'll just share very briefly with you some statistics. We did a survey in 2014 of adults, so people 18 years and older. But uh, the young people in this in the survey, 18 to 24, a little bit older than you, Four out of five young Canadians say they're not confident about their financial knowledge. Only a third of young Canadians have a household budget, and that's the lowest incident of any age group. Yet we know that the budget is the foundation of financial literacy and can help build your confidence about money matters and frankly alleviate the stress that money might put on you. At the same time, young Canadians have high hopes for the financial future. Well, of course you do, but there's some concerning statistics. In 2011, there was a survey uh, done by the British Columbia Securities Commission, and it revealed that uh, most of the students, these were 15-year-olds, by the way, they expected in 10 years' time to have earnings three times higher than the national average. So it was a little bit skewed. They didn't really know how much money they could be earning. They also believe that they would purchase a home, and that's probably, I mean, these are statistics that are from 2011, and many of you know the Vancouver housing market has gone so out of control that young people probably aren't hoping to, to buy a home there. Um, but they did, in 2011, think that they were going to be able to buy a home and actually be better off than their parents. But if kids are going to meet these expectations, they're going to have to acquire very sharp financial literacy skills. And every stage of life offers learning because you can't ever be too young or too old to learn about money. Financial literacy is important to the financial well-being of individuals, families, and communities. It's critical, it's a critical life skill at every stage of life, from childhood to adulthood and right into your retirement years. And it's essential, of course, for business ventures. As business teachers in the room know, you're uniquely situated to help a generation of young people before you to achieve their personal and their professional goals. I want to thank you very much for the great work that you're doing to help build momentum for financial literacy here in Saskatchewan. And it's obviously spreading all across the provinces as you've got Manitoba and Ontario represented here today. So thank you so much for including me in today's presentation. And uh, I've really enjoyed learning a little bit more about this event. And I'm looking forward to the, the event tomorrow. I'll be there in the morning. Thank you very much.